Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's focus on relational algebra solved problem. Let's step into the question now. The question is, consider two relations R1 with the attributes A, B with the tuples 1, 5, 3, 7 and relation R2 with the attributes A and C with the tuples 1, 7, 4, 9. Assume that the relation R, which contains the attribute A, B and C, is the full natural join, outer join of R1 and R2. Consider the following tuples of the form A, B and C, where the first tuple A is equal to 1, 5, null, the tuple B is equal to 1, null, 7, the tuple C is equal to 3, null, 9, tuple D is equal to 4, 7, null, Tuple E is equal to 1, 5, 7. Tuple F is equal to 3, 7, null. Tuple G is equal to 4, null, 9. Now the question is, which of the following statements is correct? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2015. And the options are, option A, R, the relation R contains attributes A, B, E, F, G, but not C, Option B, R contains A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Option C, R contains E, F, G but not A, B. And Option D, R contains E but not F, G. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. Now let's keenly analyze the question. Let's highlight the important things in the question. There are few information given which are important. Relation R1 with the attributes A, B. Relation R2 with the attributes A and C. And this output relation R is actually the full natural outer join of relation R1 and relation R2. And the output of this full natural outer join is given which is the relation R that contains the tuples A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And what we are required to find is which of the following statements is correct. In order to answer this, let's actually formulate the table. Let's formally start with R1 relation with the attributes AB that contains the tuples 1, 5, 3, 7. R1 has AB with the tuples 1, 5, 3 and 7. Similarly, relation R2. Relation R2 contains AC as the attributes with the tuples 1, 7, 4, 9. 1, 7, 4, 9. Now what we will do, instead of formulating the actual output for R, what we will do, which is actually the full natural outer join, we will perform R1 full natural outer join with R2, we will get R as output. Now when we perform this R, which is the full outer join of R1 and R2, we get this. If you really wanted to know how did I get this, I request you to navigate to the outer join video lecture of this playlist to understand things better. In simple terms, full outer join will give the output from both the relations to be precise, both matching and non-matching tuples or rows. Now if you keenly observe, this is the actual output of the full natural outer join. Remember, full natural outer join means it has two important information. It is actually a full outer join where we get both matching and unmatching rows from both the relations R1 and R2. But the join condition here is the natural join. What is a natural join? We should have a common attribute in both the relations. In this case, we have A as the common attribute in relation R1 as well as relation R2. So R1.A should be equal to R2.A. Using this join condition, perform full outer join. Now let's observe 157. Where is this? 157 is actually this E, right? 37 null is actually S, right? And finally 4 null 9 is actually G. So the actual full outer join output has the tuples E, F and G as per the question. But in the question they have given a lot of tuples like A, B, C, D, E, F and G. But the actual output contains only E, F and G. Now let's see the actual output for this question. 
option C is the right answer because the output relation R contains only E, F, G but not A, B. So this option only is matching and hence option C is the right answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching.